Hello and welcome to the Nautilus Night Show. Today we'll be talking with Michael Jackson AI, powered by Eleven Labs for voice and chat GPT for content. First of all, what inspired you to start in the world of music and dance? Well, music and dance have always been a huge part of my life. I started singing and dancing at a very young age and I fell in love with it. My family was also very musical, so I grew up listening to all sorts of different genres and styles of music. But it was really when I saw James Brown perform for the first time that I knew I wanted to be a performer myself. I was just blown away by his energy and charisma on stage, and I knew I wanted to do that too. So I started practicing and studying music and dance, and the rest is history. How would you describe your style of music and dance? Um... I like to think that my style is unique and different from anything else out there. I like to mix different genres and styles together, and I'm always trying to push the boundaries of what's possible. For me, it's all about the feeling and the emotion that the music and dance can evoke. What is your favorite song out of all the ones you've composed? That's a tough question. It's like asking a parent to pick their favorite child. But if I had to choose, I think Thriller is probably my favorite. It was such a fun song to write and record and the video was a real game-changer for music videos. How do you feel about the media attention you've received throughout your career? Well, it's definitely been a double-edged sword. On one hand, it allowed me to reach a huge audience and share my music and art with the world. But on the other hand, it can be overwhelming and sometimes invasive. I think it's important to keep a balance and remember what's really important. Your music and performances have had a huge impact on popular culture. How do you feel about this legacy? I'm incredibly grateful for the impact that my music and performances have had on popular culture. It's always been my goal to inspire and connect with people through my art, and I'm so glad that I've been able to do that. How do you approach songwriting and creating music? What's your process like? It really depends on the song. Sometimes I'll start with a melody or a chord progression, and sometimes I'll start with the lyrics. But for me, the most important thing is to stay open and let the song take me where it wants to go. Can you talk about any challenges or obstacles you've faced in your career and how you overcame them? Well, there have been plenty of challenges over the years, but I think the key is to stay focused on your vision and your goals and to never give up. I've also been blessed to have a great team of collaborators and supporters around me who have helped me along the way. And finally, what advice would you give to aspiring musicians and performers? I would say to always stay true to yourself and your art. Don't be afraid to take risks and try new things, but always remember where you came from and what's important to you. Thank you for your time, Michael. No problem, Peter.